Philly is a mixed traffic orange tank engine. It can pull both coaches and freight cars. One morning he was whistling loudly at the other engines. I'm in the pride of the line. The top of my hat says I'm the most useless engine on the island. Rubbish, said Albert. We're all useful. Sir so Topham Hatt says so, and he's headed the whole railway. You know what? said Stepney. What? said Billy. You're always being silly. Billy steamed away. Later, Billy found Thomas at Allsburg Junction. I'm the pride of the line. I saw you pulling freight cars, snorted Thomas. You're only a goods engine. I pull coaches too. Not as much as I do. But Sir Topham Hat has plans for me. Billy was only making this up. But Thomas believed him. What plans? Um, wait and see. Oh dear, he thought. Now what do I do? Rosie was hunting Thomas's faithful coaches. Yes. Good morning, Billy, she said. And are those coaches for me? said Billy, hopefully. No, don't those co those four coaches are for Thomas. I'll fetch your freight cars next. But Billy was going to play a trick on the other engines. Actually, Rosie, I'm taking Andy quite about Randy Engine Tell. So Topham Hat asked me to tell you. What about the freight cars? said Rosie. Um, give them to Thomas. Come on, Rosie, see, said, said the driver. Orders are orders. Billy coupled up to Annie Cardabelle, Wendy and Chantel, and he steamed away. Rosie returned with the freight cars. And a few minutes later, Thomas arrived. Where are my coaches? Rosie told him about Billy. And so here are your cars. Thomas was very cross. And so was his driver. Wait till Sir Topham Hat hears about this. He said, Billy was enjoying it. What a clever plan. What a clever plan, he said. But when Billy arrived at Crowland's Gate Station, Sir Topham Hat, Mr. Percival, and Sir Handel were already there. Oh. He'll be in trouble now, said the four coaches. Who's? Some jokes are funny, said Sir Topham Hat, but not this one, Billy. You have caused confusion. Yes, sir, I am, sir. You must go to your head until you are wanted, added Mr. Percival. Thank you for the backup, said Sir Topham Hat. Anytime, said Mr. Percival. Billy steamed away without a word. Meanwhile, the engines teased Billy. I wonder what we'll be doing. I wonder what we'll be pulling Annie quite about Randy and Chantal today, said Molly. I inspect it will be Thomas, said Fergus. Billy's stuck in the shed for being silly. We get it. Billy's stuck in the shed for being silly. We, Billy didn't listen. 
Soon Billy Lee came out of the shed and got back to work. Work. Hello, Billy, said Rosie. Good to see you out and about again. Sorry I tricked you, said Billy. Are these my cars? Yes, yeah, said Rosie. They are pleased to have you back. Soon Billy was hard at work. Shunting the freight cars are to and fro. And as soon as the day's work was over, the driver spoke to him. I guess we're done, said Billy's driver. No cars or passengers, just we two. Excuse me, called a voice. But I need to go to, um, Osberg Junction to have a meeting with the Topham Hat. I missed the principal. Alright, said Billy's driver. Hmm? Then he whispered to Billy, this, ge this gentleman's a railway inspector. Billy was pleased, and he steamed away with the inspect with the railway inspector on board. And when Billy arrived at Crovens Gate Station, Peter, Sam, Sir Topham Hat, and Mr. Percival were already there. This engine gave me a splendid ride, said the inspector. You should congratulate him. Yes, indeed, said Mr. Percival Sir Topham Hat and Peter Sam and the railway inspector. Again, you are a really useful engine. Billy was pleased. Indeed.